So I mentioned that there can be a cross-certification uh, set up, and a lot of times that's when, let's say that uh, two companies have their own internal PKIs, because you can have your own PKI within your company. The company can choose to have its own um, certificate authority, which it has to maintain, or the company can just have the uh, RA uh, and maintain that and use an external uh, CA, like Entrust or um, a VeriSign or one of those. So there's companies that provide the service specifically of creating uh, digital uh, certificates. Of course, you have to pay for those digital certificates. So within a company, you can the, decide on the architecture if the CA is going to be internal, the RA will then be internal, and then you'll send, send out and control your own certificates. Or you can have an RA, which means that the registration goes through your RA, and then the request goes out to the, um, the CA that's outside your, your company. So it's, it's up to uh, the organization. A lot of times the decisions come down to cost of the certificates and uh, the ability to have the skill set to properly protect that, that CA, since that's the trust. We all trust that CA, and if it's compromised, um, we don't know what to trust. The digital certificates can't be uh, trusted anymore. So in, in um, situations where there's two companies that have their own PKIs set up uh, individually, and they want to be able to communicate to each other through uh, trust and secure uh, methods, then the, the two root CAs of the PKIs can exchange uh, certificates so there's a mutual uh, trust between those certificate authorities. Now that just means that a user in one company can directly communicate with the user in another company and they'll validate each other's um, certificates. So company A, if there's not this, this mutual uh, trust between the uh, certificate authority, if I got a digital certificate from uh, a user in another company, I'll go through the validation process, but it'll be developed by a certificate authority that I don't trust. So I wouldn't be able to necessarily communicate with that individual. But when a cross-certification um, arrangement set up, when somebody from that other company sends over their uh, digital certificate, because there's a trust between our companies, my system can now trust that uh, digital certificate and we can communicate with um, encryption and, and digital signatures.